Hey, it's the Scotch Test. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with what I call Scott's Dream. 2017 George T. Stag BTAC Edition, bottled at 64.6%. Ooh, these have been hit and hit with Scott over here. Let's Scott test it. Test it! Test it. I called you Scotto. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. First, before we even open this up, Scotch Oops. God shout out should come first because you know we're going to get lost in the George T. You know what? Chad Ashton, and we marked this one, and I took a screenshot of it. Oh, no, it's on here. This from the STD Top 5 Bourbons for Beginners. Now, STD, Scotch Test. That's right. Just to clarify. Sorry. By the way, I'm Bart, your Scott. That's right. Boom. Uh, Chad Ashton commented on that video, and it was the, the edited version. You guys make drinking whiskey bourbon seem so awesome. It is. We do. It doesn't just seem. <laughs> it actually is. Classy but fun, he goes on. Mm. Sophisticated but at the same time for the average man. I think that's kind of what we're going for. Yeah. Well, you bring... Well, you, well I don't know about sophisticated. I think, yes, yeah, that's unintentional. If we right. seem sophisticated, that's, it's unintentional. Well, that may be you. That's your leak. Oh, okay. I'm Maybe. leaking like whimsy. <laughs> Sadly, he says, I've yet to find one that doesn't make me want to spit it out almost immediately. Oh, wow. That includes trying with water. Mm. Bought some Glencairn whiskey glasses. Ice, no dice. Maker's Mark was one I tried after seeing it listed on several other for beginner videos. Maybe I'll try the Elijah Craig or Buffalo Trace next. Should. And that's what I replied. I said, Maybe your palate takes some time to get used to it. I know when I first started drinking whiskey, it took I used a lot more water and ice to bring it down. What you want to do is bring that alcohol level down to a, something that's that's palatable for you. Mm -hmm. And it varies from person to person. Right. And over time, I think you get used to the, the flavors, the full strength, the ABVs, and, well, and the you, water gets less and less. I, I think with most people, yeah, what happens is you're like, ooh, there's a great flavor in there. And then you pour a little bit more without even adding water, and it's naturally a little stronger. And you're like, ooh, I can get a little more. Mm -hmm. And then you start like going, wow, it's more flavorful with less water. Next thing you know, you're sipping it neat for the first time, then adding a little water, which is a great way to go. And then you start playing with that, with that EBV. So that was a great comment. I'd, I'd seen that and went, wow. Automatic Scotch God shout out. Yes. Just because it wasn't just that you guys are awesome. Right? It's the depth of it that it that he's also struggling. I mean, he's saying he's spitting it out. But he enjoys mm -hmm. watching the show and he wants to keep trying and finding mm -hmm. that sweet spot. Yeah. And, and he's I, tried a couple and he's going to mm -hmm. try a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your advice was perfect. Yeah. Hey, you don't have to drink it neat. Yeah. Go with ice. Go with water. Do whatever you want. You bet. All right. George so give us some history here. Okay, so Buffalo, Your history. Buffalo Trace Antique Collection each year puts out, there's a five bottle special mm -hmm. limited run that they do. Right. The George T. Stagg, mm -hmm. Eagle Rare, uh, Sazerac Rye, Zaz. Thomas H. Handy, Sazerac That's Rye, good one. and gosh darn it, now I'm drawing a blank. What's the fifth one? Eagle Rare. Right. Wellers. Yes. Sorry, yeah, right on there. Now, uh, now most of them are, are more aged than the general releases. So this over the George T. Stagg proof. Junior, which mm -hmm. is a, uh, I mean, uh, that's in every liquor store. Mostly, you can go right. find it and buy it all the time. Yeah, it's available. The Standard ju release. The George, the George T. Stagg Senior mm -hmm. uh, is this limited release bottling. Now this started for for us three years ago right. when I got a bottle of the 2015 George Stagg bottle at 69 percent. Probably. Socks blown off you yes probably Your socks were like whoop yeah probably the best bourbon i've had mm. still and then 2016's last year was bottled at 72 percent still Outsta good outstanding but your expertise started to show because you you were like good great not as good uh -huh. as 2015. yeah and i was like you can tell and you're like <laughs> You know, it was like a, like, a, like a lot of mocking of me when I was. You were like, yeah, yeah, and I think we did a mm -hmm. side yeah, by side. Yeah, we did side. side by side. And when we did, you were, I was like, wow, you were 100 percent right. I mean, you were just 
because you were really your skill level with bourbon i think is still above mine but you were early into these mm -hmm. yeah and i was like eh. but now and when i tried them against each other i was like you're right that's standard now and, and several reviewers standard. had yeah. Exceptional. Oh. Oh, that's standard. What the hell was uh, that? So. Several reviewers had kind of noticed <laughs> the same. Last year's was, even though a little bit higher in the ABV, maybe not as good as the year priors. Um, keep that in mind. This one's bottled at 64%. It's a little bit lower. Now, the 2015, the first bottling we got, there was about 5,000 bottles of mm -hmm. it. Last year's, there was about 9,000 bottles. This year, they've released 33,000 bottles of the George Stag. Really? So they came up with some extra barrels somewhere. Wow. And this one is still, I was looking, and I don't think it says on here, but this is a, I think it's a 15-year-old. Mm. I think they put that out in the literature. Yeah, I was reading through it. I didn't see any age on it yeah. at all. So, and uh, unlike most of them where we've opened them and cracked them and taken notes, we haven't done no that notes. yet. And by the way, I've got, we've each got our cast two Scotch Test Dummies coins. You can get these off of our store. I have what I call the kindergarten coin. Why? One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's you can remember? One, two, three. You don't have to use your Yours fingers. Yours is, yeah, I don't, I'll be like, well, I add in a thumb. I, I got number 120. That. Wow. Yeah, I'll be like, one, two, three. I do it like a European counting. You with me on that? Yeah. <laughs> the Germans will count like that's three. They'll do that. Oh yeah. Just letting you know. I'll be like, boom. I do that to confuse my kids once in a while. <laughs> you three. Yeah. Go over there. That doesn't look like three. Well, it's still three. I need two of you. Come up here. <laughs> oh well, you'll do that. So I'm just saying I'm counting with my foot. Um, keep in mind, generally you want to let whiskey air a little bit. Open up. Open up. Oxidize. Sometimes. Let, let the air get in there. We like to just sip it a little clean. clean. This is this is a I'm crack of the sucks, bottle and, and taste it review. Wow. Oh yeah, good bourbon nose. Yeah, it does. Well, it's got a, a George T. Stag nose. I mean, yeah. it really does. It it harkens back, which is oak, cinnamon, mm -hmm. some allspice in there. Yeah. Maybe even a little nutmeg for me. Can't say I'm necessarily getting vanilla. Maybe caramels. See, I almost get like a cola. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Great. Good Good nose. Good color on it. Um, and the George T. Stag Jr. is probably around an eight year. So this one's coming in age several more years. Hmm. Interesting. It was a little more subtle at first than I thought mm. it was going to be. Mm. Very oaked up front mm. then it bursts about mid-level mm. mid-palate just kind mm. of like, oh wow or get a little bit of uh, a cola finish mm. caramel hard that, candy that does not disappoint mm. your notes yeah uh, cinnamon the caramels are there the vanillas a lot of spice a lot of oak full very velvety and warming when i as soon as i Took it in and just started to coat my <laughs> mouth and move towards the back. Sorry. Hmm. I cut out a phrase I usually have in there. I had to think about. <laughs> I don't know. I just get the way you As soon as I took it in. Well, and I didn't bring, I thought about should I bring the others and let's compare them all. And I was like, you know, let's just, let's move past that and just look at this bottle. There's I 30. still think we could do that later. How much do you have of the 13? No, I've 15, got 15, 15 and the 16. 16. 17. How much do you have of the 15? Not very much. But just like four ounces. I've just downsized it into a smaller bottle. I think that'd be worth a show. <laughs> you bring in all three. We just sip each of the three. See how it goes. Cinnamon, a rich, creamy caramel. Mmm. Somebody's hungry. Is that me? Yeah. That's apparently the George T. Stag has filled my stomach and, and my stomach's like in a party. I'm gonna it's cheering. I'm gonna spill a little on gonna, the ooh, coin. Ooh, oh, I oh. just got some on the coin. Wow. 120's been tainted by the George Stag. <laughs> I don't know, more like anointed rather than tainted. That's right. Anointed. Yeah, tainted's like bad. Baptized. Anointed is like woo. Anybody gets coin 120, wow. you got a baptized coin right, with the George are T. Be Stag. Rushing out. Mm. We call those folks coin lickers. Oh no, we don't. This is going to no, be a good. Don't. This is going to be a good bottle to sit down with and drain down. 
<laughs> now, uh, Matt at the liquor store, he did have one uh, friend who had had this, and he thought it was a little off-putting at first when he opened it, but then it got there was something, an off-putting note to it when he first opened it, and it went away um, over the course of a week. I don't notice anything off-putting to it. It opens with the heavy oak. If, if you're not a fan of the wood. Yeah, I would agree. Could be off-putting. The 15 years, and I'm pretty sure I should have looked that up. I'm pretty sure it's a 15 year, 15 years old. Um, it is a rye. It does have rye in it as well. It's not a weeded bourbon. Okay. Adding some of that spice in there. I don't really get any rye notes. Maybe, maybe black pepper spice at the end. Mm -hmm. None of the usual rye, uh, doughy, bread, dill God, notes come through. See what you're saying there, I like. <laughs> doughy, dill, peppery. Mm -hmm. I get a lot, a lot of oak here. A lot of oak. If you're a fan of the oak, I think you're going to be a fan of this. This is what always brings these down personally for me. Mm. They're very tasty. They're very well done. I'm just as not as much of a wood forward guy. That is a. It's not over oaked though. You use the term over oaked. It's right, not over oaked. There is oak that is present. Over oaked. No, you didn't. Right. You, I mean, that's the way you're going. Very on oaky. It's just oaky. Oakiness. Oaky from the Skokie. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, it's got a wood forward. This I hate to I hate to pin and I'm I'm going I mean this is mid, mid low to mid nineties this is ninety two ninety three somewhere in there for me I'm not gonna put a number on that's that's the range. Well, you need a plus minus not ninety two plus or minus one. Rather than this hand shaky thing, you've got your own. What's your score? Range. What's your score? <sighs> Give me a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah. well, I feel well, oh, I don't well, give a range. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a range. And my first instinct was eighty nine. <laughs> Whatever. Well that would be with your plus or minus, we're in the same <laughs> area, aren't we? Areola, you just said no. two. You said two and you gave it a ninety one, right? Uh, ninety two plus 92. or minus one. Oh, I thought you said plus you or don't minus even two. To me. Wow, it's hard when you're waffling. I just I'm like he's waffling, I need to back off. Oh. So we're one away if I say 89, right? 92, well, plus or minus one. <laughs> I'm still thinking you said plus or no minus No wonder two. you need the kindergarten coin. One, two, three. I do. Math was not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we ready for a traveling dummy? Is it worth it? Let's do that real quick. If you can find this, and there is more, more of the George Stag this year. All the other releases, um, I think, are pretty much on course with the other four bottlings, numbers wise. How much again? It, retail on it's a hundred. I paid a hundred and twenty for this, which is good. It's probably the last bottling we're going to get though for that price. Not even if they're our putting out fifty-five thousand bottles. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. See, I didn't listen to you again. <laughs> Not if they're putting out thirty-three thousand. When they're putting out five thousand bottles. Um. The problem is, it's still you still can't. Find, I mean, people are still snatched as soon as they put if they put it out on the shelf, because stores hold them for their preferred customers. Well, if they put them out on the shelves, they're gone probably within the hour. So it's not like even though there's thirty three thousand, they're still going that fast. You're not gonna walk into a store, I don't think, and find it. If, if, if I found it on like the it. shelf for a hundred dollars, I'm not buying it. I it's would. not. It's not my wheelhouse. Um, I personally, you know, what? after we did our 16 bourbon shootout. We haven't even added water to it. I we just been sitting here drinking. I added water meat. to mine. You weren't paying attention. Nope. You were moving it forward. You were waffling. <laughs> A guy that can count to one, two, three adds water to the high ABV. Ooh. A guy that can count one, two, three adds water to the high ABV. I can do that. <laughs> so for, for me... It's not worth it. I'm not chasing it down. Uh, I'm glad you got it. I love reviewing it. I do think it's tasty. My issue though, just me, just my palate, I'm not as much of an oak forward guy. That's just me. I'm not I'm not chasing it down either. I mean, I'm not going to stand in line. Um, our store held it for us, mm. which is good. Um, much it's, higher though, and I mean, I'm out. It's I mean, tasty. The, it, here, here, here's the problem with all of these unicorns as people call them yeah is that there's so much good whiskey out yes there. yeah 
This was why pay why pay exorbitant right. prices for that, that's stuff that's saying. that's above average or, or or is good. It's good. And I would say I would probably go one hundred and fifty dollars a bottle. Oh my God, I'd pay eighty. Um, so eighty because of the age there's no on pe- it. There's no peat in it. Sure, but because <laughs> of the, I mean, there's craftsmanship that's in here. I recognize that, and I think with the aging, I could see it going around eighty. But I like the Elijah Craig barrel proof better than this. This doesn't make me go wow. I mean, this doesn't. But, I mean, it's like wow. No, you get preconceived notions though. We've done it blind. Based on bottlings and marketing. Look at the blind 16 bottle blind shootout. You took stuff based on marketing and had it marked clear down and it rose in a blind tasting. Right, this would rise in a blind tasting. In a blind tasting, this would rise up. I like what you're saying. You're calling for a blind tasting. <laughs> yeah. What we should do is your 2015, 16, 17 blind tasting with just an Elijah Craig 12 year and a barrel proof. Mm hmm. Let's do that. Well, and a Jack Daniels barrel proof. Throw that Jack in there. That pisses off the people. We can get it. We got, EH, bourbon. we got EH Taylor barrel proof. <laughs> yeah. Um, and people go, that's not a bourbon. Well, what other uh, um, What other barrel proofs do we have? I don't know. We could find a few. Mm-hmm. But we do need to do a barrel proof. My deal is, I'm not saying it's not bad. I'm not bad. saying it's not good. Yeah. I'm saying this is solid, and I'm giving you a little detail if you like the oak. What I'm saying is, I would. this is an $80 with the high ABV, with the extra age. Um, it's still a limited release, so I get the price point. Um, 80 is perfect. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't go get it for $120. I wouldn't pay $100 for it. That's me. But you're right. There'll be some stores where they're going to mark this up to $500, and people are going to mm-hmm. buy it. Yeah. But they're going to buy it because of the marketing, not to drink it, I think. So, But I love what they're doing. And when you brought in the 2015 and the 2016, we did the show on that, you were so spot on with how you you're, you, you could remember that. I mean, you were saying the 2015 was your best bourbon you'd ever had. Mm-hmm. And the 2016 was still good, but it didn't compare to that 15. And I don't know, I remember thinking, yeah, head to head, you're right, this 15 is great. I almost think this one is maybe even a little better than last year's. Hmm. I mean, fl- flavor profile-wise, than the 2016. I don't know. Let's, let's move on to our traveling dummy. You did an apology video. I did. You apologized publicly for some of yours, our I'm, pronunciations. My, I made a recompense. <laughs> <laughs> I made a public recompense. Brought the family on, had them stand there while I did what I call the politician's apology. It was so good. Mom thought it was real. Yeah. Mom saw it on Facebook and was somehow thought I brought shame to the family name. How does that tie into our traveling dummies? The Whiskey Rev. Ooh, love that. Whiskey without an E. The Whiskey Rev. He's in Scotland. He he's is. good friends with Aqua Vite. Well, I'd say he's beyond good friends. He, uh, the next day, in honor, he says, just a little picture in honor of your pronunciation video. <laughs> Way to go, Rev. He's posted a picture of him holding uh, his Cask 1 and Cask 2 coin yeah. in front of the Glen Morange IE Distillery. I pronounce it Glen Morange. Very good. When given time. <laughs> Under the pressure of a quick hitter blind, and I ripped the tape off, it came out Midwestern. You gave the straight Kansas Midwestern pronunciation. The offense of my tongue and mouth, <laughs> <laughs> which made my son laugh when he was there for the video. Yeah. Oh, and, and the Rev here says that, uh, Rev is his profession, that uh, if I moved to Scotland, I could work with him, and we could, uh, the music and the videos, we could coordinate uh, funerals that it was oh, so man. sad watching because uh, if you and go the watch photos. the video there's a yeah. bunch of still photos and 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 uh, Dan Pancaldi did us some some he called it uh, the Lafroy March or something and uh, so that sad music plays go check that out we have uh, also real quick we have to do a mm. Patreon mm. supporter shout out all right. And we have a new $3 supporter. Now, we have a photo. Do you have that up there for him? I will have it. Okay. Yes. So you're going to throw This is the Batman. Up. Remember Batman? Oh, I totally got it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll have it, I guess. I'm editing this one. Yeah, so, well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. and it, that's Francois. Francois Daniels? Yeah, so we got to yell at Francois, Francois Daniels! Woo! Thank you very much. The and we got to post he, he sent us the two swall. pictures. Yeah. He's a great supporter. Uh, Patreon, we appreciate He's it. a strong-looking fella. Um, He's big. Swole. Okay. I think, from memory. <laughs> <laughs> Francois is a large man. We got another one? That's it. Two, three, I think three dollars get solos. Don't solos they? sounds good to $3. me. I don't think we have that in the bylaws, but yeah, sure. You get your own. Francois of Solo. The next one we have a. It's a, an older three dollar supporter. We yes. finally got a picture from him. Yeah, we did up. not have a photo, and we'd hung on that one. Yep, we'd hung up. So we'll do that one. Next. Yeah. So if you're wondering what the heck we're talking about, if you go to Patreon, Patreon's a way fans can support the show. You go to patreon.com, then you can search Scotch Test Dummies. You'll find our page. We list videos there. And fans that like the show can donate as little as a dollar a month or as much as you want, really. Um, and we set it up per show. And we do little special things. We're about due to do a special thing where we'll do um, live videos with just the Patreon supporters or something. They've gotten some very unique coins when they've hit certain uh, donation marks and stuff. So that's what we do there. You can go check it out again. The show's going to remain free. But if you like what we do, and why wouldn't you? I know. Why not? Yeah. Help us out. What's a dollar? I mean, come on. Give us give us the equivalent of a Starbucks a month. That'd be good. Of course, yeah. Starbucks is like $28 now. Yeah. <laughs> we got anything else to yeah, put Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same price as a cup of coffee an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. You're willing to give it to Starbucks. But look at us. You know us. We're the Scotch Test Dummies with an acronym that says STD. Who doesn't do that? Scotch it, you Scotch guy. Cilantro. Dummies. <laughs>